You wake up refreshed. You sleep pleasantly tired. You are content. You are often enthusiastic. You are free to feel sad, angry, frustrated, etc. And have healthy ways of expressing and or shifting these emotions. You enjoy the people in your life. You live in community. You are clear about your boundaries and disengage from encounters and situations that have the potential to violate you. Your days are a balance of work and play, creation and rest. You are able to live each of these ways. You are able to work, able to play, able to choose and create, able to rest. Your body has its needs met and is well. You are able to meet challenges that come your way. You know who you are and your purpose and live it. This is vitality. Vitality is not perfection. Vitality is humanness. So there may be a variety of experiences you continue to encounter, and they don't all have to be your favorite. But in a state of vitality, earth life is doable and overall peaceful and enjoyable for you. If you'll recall from the introductory video in this Keys of Vitality series, I've organized the principles of this course as a series of gates. When you activate the gate, you are no longer on the previous impaired side of the gate. You cross the threshold to vitality as it relates to the given gate. The gates will generally correspond to and be the antidotes to the list of impairments I shared with you in previous videos in this series. Not every gate will have a lot of explanation to it. Having you mentally understand something is not always my goal. But each practice has a body purpose. Your body will understand. Think of Mr. Miyagi teaching Daniel wax on, wax off before he explained a bunch of stuff to his student. He led Daniel in creating and integrating body pathways. So that's some of my theory too. It is important to gently, gradually allow your body to become familiar with the state of vitality. But don't worry, many of our lessons will include precept as well so that your thoughts can learn too. Starting in the next video, I will introduce the first gate.